Are you looking for a lower carb chicken fried rice? Well, I've got the recipe for you today. If you are, we're gonna cut our carbs down. We're gonna use half white rice and half cauliflower rice. So that's gonna cut it down. We're also gonna load this up with some vegetables and we're making this gluten-free by using coconut aminos instead of soy sauce, which is a soy sauce substitute. Very tasty, guys. You're gonna love this. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. All right, so let's talk about our ingredients. First up, we have our chicken. I'm using chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you want to, but I like the thighs because they're more forgiving. What I mean by that is that you're less likely to dry it out if you overcook it just a little bit. So I just like the chicken thighs. They're just much more juicy and tender. So with the chicken thighs, just go ahead and trim off any excess fat and then cut the thighs into bite-sized pieces. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we have our rice. Now I'm using white rice. Now with the white rice, you wanna make sure you make it the day before. Put it in your refrigerator and so that it's day old rice. That really turns out so much better and your dish will be nice and you know it won't be gummy. Our cauliflower rice, if you don't know how to make that, I have a video for you. I'll leave a link in the description of this video along with the written recipe. Uh, check that out. Also, you can buy your cauliflower rice already riced at the store. I have some shredded carrot that I picked up already shredded at the store. I sliced up some green onion. We have some frozen peas, three eggs, some fresh minced garlic, some butter, and for our sauce, remember I mentioned the coconut minas. You'll also need some sesame oil, some salt, and some avocado oil. I do wanna mention that I highly suggest that you get all of your ingredients laid out like I have mine here, so that when you make this, because things come together kind of quickly, and that way, you know, you're ready. You don't have to go measure something else out and, you know, delay your cooking and, you know, Kind of mess things up so yeah definitely do this it'll it'll make your life so much easier so here's our setup i got everything uh laid out like i told you i've got a dish back here this dish here is for when i cook the chicken and the eggs i'm going to place it back there while i'm cooking the veggies okay to keep it nice and warm i got my pan over here over medium high to high heat we want this to be nice and hot and before we get started though i want to tell you my chef joke all right so what did the fried rice say to the chicken don't walk away from me. Okay, once our pan, let's get into let's get into cooking. All right, so I've got my avocado oil here. I'm gonna place a little bit into the pan, maybe about two teaspoons or so. Now you wanna make sure that everything's nice and hot. Swirl around your oil. Make sure that it's all over the pan. And what I'm gonna put in here is the chicken first. We're gonna cook that first. I wanna get out my little grease guard there. That'll help us uh, keep the, at least contain some of the grease. How do you know when that oil's hot? Well, when you look at it in the light, you can see that it's, it's kind of wavy-like. I'm going to place my chicken in the pan and we're going to start cooking that up. Spread it out. And I'm going to season this with some salt. And then we're gonna, because the chicken is cut into small pieces, it's not gonna take very long to cook. Maybe, you know, three or four minutes, five minutes maybe. You just wanna make sure that it's all touching the pan. Just about done. I like to add a little bit of coconut aminos to the pan just to season up the meat as it's you know, cooking. All right, since the chicken is pretty much done, we're gonna place this in our bowl. Now I've got my heat on medium. Now we're gonna cook the eggs. Toss them in the pan and just cook them up. Now we don't want to cook these totally, you know, well done. I'm going to leave them just a little bit on the wet side just because they're going to go back in the pan and cook a little bit more. I'm just going to add just a sprinkle of salt very lightly. Okay, so these are looking good. 
You can see they're still a little wet. I'm just going to toss them a little bit more. Okay, these are going to go into the pan here with the chicken. We're going to go back in with a little more olive oil for the onions and the carrots. Let that get up to temperature. We're going back up to medium high to high heat. I'm going to place some butter in there. In go our onions. And we're going to cook the carrots a little bit because mine are a little bit thick, so they're going to take you know, just three or four minutes to cook this up. All right, this has been going for four minutes. We just want to get the carrots just a little bit limp, but still have a little bit of, you know, firmness to them. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat down for a minute here because we're just going to add the garlic and I don't want it to burn. I'm going to put that in there and cook the garlic for just a minute. One minute will do it. Okay, we're going to be like Benihana. We're going to push our veggies to the side. I'm going to add some more oil to the pan. And I'm going to crank things up a bit. We're going to add some more butter. Crank up the heat. We're going to, I've got the heat up to high now. Toss in the rice. I just want to give that a quick stir. You want to hear that sizzle, okay? i got a good sizzle going on. Here goes the cauliflower rice. Okay, I'm going to add the coconut aminos that we talked about and some sesame, toasted sesame oil. I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of this. This stuff is powerful stuff. It's got a great flavor. Okay, let's get this all mixed. Now we're going to add back the chicken and the eggs. And we're just going to cook that up. Now feel free to add more coconut aminos if you want. But you won't know that until you taste it. So you got to give it a little taste. And of course we have our peas. I'm going to toss those in. And that's pretty much all there is to this. You just want to taste it for a little more salt if you need it or a little more of the coconut aminos. It was perfect. So this dish cooked up super quick, right? Didn't you love that? I love that. This would be a great meal anytime, any day of the week. Let's serve some of this up. Look at this. And it's, it's basically a one pot dish, right? We've got chicken, we've got cauliflower, and we got all kinds of vegetables. We got a little bit of rice in there. And the flavors, so good. I would say you've got to use that sesame, that, that toasted sesame oil. It really adds a lot of flavor, a lot of dimension to this dish. You've got to have it. The chicken thighs are nice and juicy and tender. You're going to love that. The cauliflower rice mixed in there with the rice is just a nice combination. Uh, I can still taste a little bit of the rice. It gives you that fried rice taste. Uh, I think you guys are going to love this. Hey, I've got another delicious recipe for you to try. It's my amazing chicken salt and boca. Have you tried that one yet? You gotta, you gotta check it out, guys. I made it just last night for dinner, and it's chicken breast wrapped in prosciutto, which is an Italian ham, uh, sauteed on the stove over some mashed potatoes, and I made a nice little pan sauce with it. That's the way the recipe goes. Check it out, guys. You, I think you'll love that one as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.